Hey guys, welcome back. It's another video with Kara from Kara Jo Plans. Today we are going to be setting up my February budget in my budget tracker. Now I have just one of the Erin Conjur and Plain Notebooks. I did not get the Deluxe Monthly because I actually started working in this in November. So I just got the notebook to kind of try to play around and see how I was budgeting and what I wanted to do. So I've been working in this a couple months using some Planner Kate um, budget kits. And today we're actually going to do February with a new kit that I found from Caffeinated Kate. So, and what I got from Caffeinated Kate was I got her printable options. Caffeinated Kate printable. She has two Etsy shops. She has one where she will mail you stickers and she also has one that has the printables on it that you can print. I have my own silhouette machine so I thought that I would get the printable ones and you can print these as many times as you want for the one price. And I really like this design of hers so I'm using this again in February. I used this in January for part of it and I'm going to go ahead and use this one again. Um, so I got a couple of the sheets. You get the whole set from her, but what we're going to be using is the basic, um, budget sheet. And it does come, this was a January set, but she includes a sheet and I have no idea where it is, but it has all the months on it. So I already went ahead and stuck the February sticker, sticker on here for the February budget. And then I am also going to be using the paycheck sheet. We're going to be doing two paychecks in February. I am a budget by paychecker. So we're going to be budgeting by paycheck. And I also choose to use the sinking funds and the transaction log. I've been setting up a page with the weekly check-in and I haven't been using it. So I think for this month I might skip this one for now and see how it works out, but I'm definitely going to use the sinking funds and the transaction log. Maybe if I get better at using my transaction log, this might come a little more easier. So for now we're just going to use the sinking funds and the transaction log. So let's get started setting up the monthly page. Okay, so we have the first page set up. Now on this page, what I put for income, I don't count each separate paycheck, I'm just counting all my total income sources. So this is like very concise. As I break it down by paycheck, then I will break down each time I get paid. So this is just going to be my income sources. And the thing I'm gonna start with is the starting balance in my bank account. And then next I'm going to have my paychecks. And then Brent. And then the last line I'm going to leave blank just in case there are any additional income sources. And then I will total those expected numbers down here once I get the lines drawn on. And then this kind of works backwards as far as like the expenses. I'm going to put my totals up in here, but I'm going to work through breaking down the expenses down here and then the, at the end of the month I'll work through my totals, what I budgeted for or what I actually have. So with the variable expenses, we'll start with those. And then we'll just drop some lines here real quick. Okay, so my variable expenses. And 
for this budget, I am working from February 7th to March 5th. So because I am a paycheck budgeter, it doesn't work out exactly for the month. So I go by paycheck. So this is February 7th to March 5th is what we're going to be doing. So I went and looked through all the bills that come out during that time period, and that's what I'm going to be putting in here. So for variable expenses, first I have my natural gas my sewage, my Bank of America, City Card, Chase, my water bill, my Barclay card. Um, and if you've seen any of my videos before, you do know that I am on a debt-free journey. So a lot of these things that you're seeing here are credit cards and loans that I'm working on paying down. I am um, basing my debt payment down on the debt snowball, kind of the debt avalanche, working both of those in there. So and then we're going to put groceries fuel for the car and unbudgeted so anything that comes up that doesn't fit into these expenses all right and then I just want to drop a line real quick here I'm gonna make this one a little thicker so I'm gonna double this okay and then for my fixed expenses we have my Netflix, which is thirteen seventy seven every month. My van, and even though I'm on a debt free journey, you are going to see stuff like Planet Fitness on here and Massage Envy, those were things that I locked into a year contract before I got serious about paying down my debt. So those you will see drop off eventually once their year term comes up and I'm able to cancel them because I was signed into a contract for at least a year. So a lot of things on my budget will change in the coming months as I'm implementing cuts and just reducing things and changing them so and then our electric bill is on a budget payment plan and in the winter it's always a hundred dollars it goes up a little bit in the summer but not too much and then my Marcus loan is a fixed amount I do instant ink which I love. I think it's saving me a lot of money on ink cartridges and the cartridges that they give you. I mean, I've been printing a lot. I got the plan where you can print up to 100 pages a month and I've been doing pretty much full color printouts and the cartridges are still showing it pretty much full. So I'm really happy with that. And then for Apple, I like to include this even though it's 99 cents. I pay for 59 gigs of storage just for the pictures and stuff that are on my phone, just so they're saved on the cloud. And then for, let's see, this one will be a March, this one will be a March. This will be for my mortgage in March because February's already went on my last January pay. And this is a March for Massage Envy. And this is always the same price as well as this. So my fixed expenses, I can easily total those up. And then with the variable expenses, how I'm going to estimate these is I'm going to look back 
at what they were in January and just assume that they're going to be very similar. So my gas bill was $132 and I do, I think I might be on a budget payment plan for them too because I think that is also very similar. And then my sewage, that goes through our local township. So that's different and this one is probably going to be about $67. And let's see, a couple of these I don't have my January totals for yet, so I'm trying to look somewhere else to see what they might be. 174. My Xfinity should be 113. I did just get rid of cable itself. I only have internet right now, and yes, they're still charging me $113 for just internet. So that's fun. Sorry for the banging there. I was trying to get on my keyboard here to see some of the other bills that I have on the computer. Um, groceries, fuel, and I'm budgeted. I want to finish out January before I do the groceries, but for fuel, I do want to budget for $200 because I feel like I fill up every week and it's close to $50. So I'm just going to budget $200 there, and then unbudgeted obviously will be zero because it's unbudgeted. So let's look back and get an estimate for my city card. So this one's probably going to be about $263. And Chase looks like it'll be about $119. And then the last time I paid my water bill, let's see what that water bill was. Okay, so the water bill was $37.72 the last time. Okay, so this is all the pretty much um, expenses for the month. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to total these up, and then when we do a budget review, I'll show you more where I was on there. I'm not going to be posting my incomes on here, just as kind of like a privacy thing, but I'm more than happy to share my expenses and my debt payment journey. That I'm fine with, but this expenses part or the income up part up here um, will always be either blank or covered so alright so that's the first page of the February budget basic setup and then we'll real quickly set up the two paycheck pages I'll show you what I'm doing with those let me flip this around because this is easier to go by the seam on the notebook. Set this down along there. And just lay it out. And this one will be paycheck one. And then while I have it upside down, I might as well do paycheck two. I don't need it upside down, I guess. Whatever. Check two. All right, so let's flip back to paycheck one and how I'm going to set this up. So the first thing I'm going to put on the top is my income. So normally for most people, this would just be one pay. I'm going to count two different payments in here. They happen in the same week but I'm basing it off my employment paycheck. So those will be on there. And then for this pay, I'll list my individual expenses and bills that are going out with this specific money. So I'm gonna have my starting balance. I'm gonna leave four lines again for that. Uh, let's do five. Just in case, I always wanna keep track of what I'm starting with because hopefully if I'm budgeting and saving there will be left over in between paychecks. All right. And then at the bottom we'll just keep a running total down here. All right, and we're going to do the same on this side. So we'll set up the income section and the ex 
expenses. One, two, three. And then once I actually do a paycheck budget with you, you'll see how I break it down into my bills and then my cash envelopes, sinking funds, and savings. So we'll show you that once I get into one of these paychecks here. All right, so that's how I'm setting up the beginning part of my February budget binder. So I'm going to have my two paychecks here, my income sources, the expenses that go out with each of those paychecks, and I'm going to break this down into bills, cash envelopes, um, savings, right, and sinking funds. Sorry. So that will get broken down, and then you can see how I set up the beginning part of the whole monthly budget to kind of get me a big overview of what's going on. And then after the two paychecks, I will do my transaction log, and then I will set up my sinking funds, and I'll show you how I do my sinking funds in another video. So I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like this kind of content, please be sure to comment below. Tell me what you liked, what you want to see more, or if you have questions about. And make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you can see the next time my videos are posted. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.